Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with a currently inked and I basically forgot to film this so I'm filming and posting on the day that is today um, but I figured I owed you one and I do really enjoy filming these but because I've had so much like video stuff backed up um, I completely forgot about it. I have some really different pens inked than normally so I think this is gonna be a good one. All right, let us go switch a shot and actually look at the pens. All right, I have most of the pens in this Pikachu pen pouch that came with my Pikachu Lamy Safari. Let me edit the lighting. Um, and it holds about six pens. I can generally stuff a few more in there, but I try not to because it's not that great for the pens, honestly. Um, as I said, I have a few pens inked up that I really haven't talked about much and some that I have talked about. Um, this is not all of them, I have another one right here. Um, but we're just gonna start and um, some of these I have not shot a video about yet and I'm thinking about doing it but I'm not completely sure. But, so this is like a sneak peek. You might get a video. Anyway, we're gonna start with one that you have seen definitely um, and we're gonna zoom in for that. Also, I think I'm gonna turn my journal a little bit like that and this is the pilot a23 and I've had this uh, inked up multiple times um, I really like this pen I used to not like it I've talked about this in my album video but I do like it now um, it is a delight to write with and also James has been stealing it because his a23 is still in need of repair uh, nothing serious, cap is broken, but that's about it. Alright, let us do the currently inked. I'm gonna write down currently inked. How nice. And then this is the Pilot Custom 823. 823 with a medium nib. And you've seen this before. It is a lovely nib. And the ink is Diamine Skull and Roses, which is a beautiful blue with a really nice sheen. Skull and Roses. Diamine has a lot of great blues with sheen. There's the nib. And yeah, this is a lovely pen. It looks a little more black in this shot, but it is the amber version of the A23. Not a flexi nib. Um, James has the Falcon nib, which is lovely, but as I said, in need of repair. Yeah, great fun to write with and a staple in like every collection, honestly. All right, on to the next one. And that is a pen I have not talked about yet. And that is a Lamy Dialogue. You guys know I'm quite, quite a fan of Lamy pens, especially the 2000. Um, and this I am borrowing from, of course, Brownie. Um, when am I not borrowing, <laughs> borrowing pens from Brownie? And this is like a capless pen with a twist mechanism. There it is on the closed position and the nib comes out here if you twist it like that. Like that. I'm doing it slowly so you can actually see properly. And it is, it is a, it is a big pen. It's thick and it's heavy and, um, I don't know. I, I think the mechanism is kind of funky, but I don't love it. Um, I'm grabbing a 600, a Pelican M600, to show you kind of like what the deal is. But it's really, it's kind of unwieldy because it is metal and so heavy. And then it is kind of back heavy. Um, but yeah, I think I will do a review on this pen. So uh, keep your eyes out for that. I still need to write more with it to really know what I think about this. has a gold nib. I think this is an oblique medium. And I'm bad at obliques, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I've been struggling with this nib. So I inked it up with a quite wet ink, but I left it um, for a couple days. To, like, I didn't write with it. And right now I'm messing with it a little bit, like, trying to get it to go. Might have to skip this one and come back to it. Mm. Yeah, let's get back to it in a second. But yeah, 
It is a lovely looking pen. It is really, really interesting. There's a new version of this that I kind of prefer. It's not as big and unwieldy. Why can't I? I am stubborn, guys, as you know. Well, we'll get back to it. I'll make sure we'll get back to it. I did a whole intro about it, but we'll get back to it. Let's just look at a baby sailor, of which I do not remember <laughs> the name. I think it's a mini. Um, it's this pen style memo, and it's like a special edition baby sailor. Also, still have to do a video about this one. Um, it doesn't have the standard sailor nib. Ooh. It has a different engraving, and it's super cool. 14K nib. Ooh, not really focused. And it is truly, truly small. It is not like the Pro Gear. It is a super, super small sailor. Yes. And let us do a writing sample. Sailor, sailor. Um, it is a sailor mini. And it says pencil memo. This nib, as you may be able to tell, is an extra fine. And the first time I wrote with it, I really, really did not like it. Um, it's growing on me a little bit, weirdly. But it's such a fine and not wet nib that it's not my favorite. I thought I inked it up with, di uh, with uh, Lamy Dark Lilac. Um, but it just doesn't look like dark lilac, and I'm not 100% sure anymore. Um, my sample bottle says dark lilac, but because it's so different, I don't know. Yeah, it's a tiny, tiny sailor. Uncapped, unposted, I mean, it's basically unusable. It is a baby, but it's super cool. It's like a tiny pen. Anyway review of this coming at some point. At some point. Let me switch to my other pen inked with dark lilac, which is my Ruby Red M600 by Pelican. Yes, this is always inked. This is like my staple pen. It has this lovely nib. It's a medium. And I always have it inked up, basically. Pelican M600 Ruby Red. And this is a medium. And yes, this is supposedly the same ink, but of course this is a medium nib and it's way wetter. Um, but I don't know, it makes me like doubt that the other one is Dark Lilac. Look at this pen. I love it so much. Anyway, Lamy Dark Lilac. I used to hoard this ink, like not use it because I love it so much, but I decided uh, I'm gonna use it because I love it so much. There's no use in hoarding inks because, I mean, they're not gonna get any better. Lovely, lovely pen. Okay, so we've done three, three and a half, I would say this is the half. Um, let us go to, uh, not this one, not yet. It's gonna be a surprise. Uh, here we have a Twisby Mini, and this has shimmer ink in it. And I am a fan of some shimmer inks. I like the Diamine ones a lot, and then Jeremen has some good ones. Um, I don't like all of them for good reason, because sometimes they clog your pen. But this one is good. This Twisby Mini does not have its standard nib on there. It has a Faber Castell brought on there. And yes, you can just twist in the nib unit and then um, switch it around. Thing is, <laughs> which is funny to me, the Twisby nibs don't go onto Faber Castell pens, but Faber Castell nibs go on Twisby pens. Anyway, let us actually go on to the writing. Twisby Mini AL. This is the aluminum version, and then it has a broad fiber nib, and it's super wet, and I love it. And then the ink is Diamine Arctic Blue. So this, this for me is like the perfect turquoisey ink. So it looks really blue right here. I'm working with unnatural light right now. 
Um, but it's just like a turquoise. And of course it has shimmer, but the base ink is so beautiful. It's like the perfect turquoise with red shimmer. And I love it. Uh, not with the red shimmer, red, red sheen. The shimmer is actually silver. But yeah, this is really fun to use. And uh, Faber-Castell nibs are some of the best seal nibs around. They are great. Yep. Okay. That is a number four and a half. Then, oh, that was uncapped in there. That's not great. We go to a pen that I think I have talked about. This is the Lamy 2000 Stainless Steel. And I don't think I liked it before because it's really heavy. It's extremely heavy, this pen. But what I've been noticing since I've been using bigger pens is that I really enjoy the weight of this right now. So recently I used a regular Lamy 2000, a Macalone one, and I thought it was too light. So for um, what we say in Dutch, beans and bacon, <laughs> um, I inked this up. Um, and yeah, I like it. James James used it, and James was like, oh, I really like it. And he thought I was borrowing this from Brownie. Um, and he was like, oh gosh, now we have to buy another pen. But we already owned it, so yay. <laughs> ramble, ramble. Okay, lovely, lovely pen. Lamy 2000. And this is the stainless steel, so SS. And this nib is extra fine. But it's very like architecty, and I really enjoy that. So downstrokes, side strokes are wider. But this is like a regular extra fine. It's because Lamy 2000 nibs are somehow kind of squared off. It's really funky. Um, but yeah, it's really good. And the ink is Jerban Bleu Des. Um, oh, I do have the bottle here. Profondeurs. Profondeurs. I don't know. I'm still not French. Um, and I have become more obsessed with this ink. And I've also made James obsessed with this ink. I, I should do an ink review on it. It's really good. Anyway, stainless steel. This one I do not post. The Macrolon I post. But the Macrolon I post because of weight. Lovely pen. Alright. Now, on to the second to last one. I have here a vintage Sailor pocket pen with a 21K nib and this one is super cool because it has a zoom nib and it is a joy to write with. Um, like actually super super fun. Um, it is a pen I still have to do a review about but it is coming. It has one of those like inlaid nibs, good size like this, but it is a joy to write with. And I didn't have a converter for it, so it just has a Sailor cartridge, but that's okay. So Sailor pocket pen, 21K. I should move this up a little bit, I see. Let's go there. All right, Sailor pocket pen, 21K, and then a zoom nib and you guys know my my favorite um sailor progress slim is the one with the zoom nib so let's do high strokes let's do low strokes let's do medium strokes and it is so fun to write with so this is just a sailor black cartridge but it is a joy to write with it's so fun and it flows so well it's like perfect and how low can we go? Yeah. So, uh, again, there's another review coming on this, probably, because it is really fun to write with. All right. Last one, or the one that we did halfway, basically. All right, here we have the Lamy pen. Uh, it basically is out of ink, and that is my issue, um, but let us just quickly do a writing sample before it dries up all the way dialogue this is the three with an oblique medium nib and the ink is diamine 
and the in case dye my bilberry. Wow, my brain just short circuited right there. It's one of my favorite inks, and it's pretty wet. And yeah, this is basically out of ink. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's a it's an interesting nib. I'm not great at writing with obliques. Obliques are like my um, worst. I'm still learning to write with it. Um, but yeah. It's a cool, it's a cool nib, honestly. Uh, if you like obliques, this is a really cool nib. Anyway, that is all the pens. It's not that many pens, if I say so myself. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, um, if I can. Let me pull it back. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seven pens, and most of them are inked up for like reviews uh, that I'm still working on. So yeah, that's decent, I would say. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'm glad I managed to film it. I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions about any of the pens, please let me know.